Okay, this video is a drawing video on how to draw the elevation, plan and end view of two intersecting hipped roofs. So we have the plan here of the outline plan of the two roofs, okay? And we are, the, the information that we are being given in order to draw this is that both roofs are hipped, have hipped ends, and they have also a pitch of 45 degrees. They're both pitched at 45 degrees. So with that information, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to, the information I have on plan, I'm going to bring up to the elevation. Okay, so basically the, uh, the, the outline of the wall plate. So I'm simply going to bring that up here. here and here now and uh, on plan because I know that they are both hipped uh, obviously roofs intersecting one another this is the outline of one of the roofs this is the outline of the other so I'm going to simply put the hips in place so the hips on plan are at 45 degrees. Now in order for me to draw this hip down here, I'm going to have to just put in the rest of that wall plate there. Where these two 45 degree hips hit on both sides, that gives me the ridge line point. Okay, now I know also then that this roof here is hipped. So, hip rafter here, hip rafter here, hip rafter here. Now, in order for me to draw in the last hip rafter, again, I'm just going to draw what would be the outline of the wall plate there. So the hip rafter would go from this point here. And the ridge line then would be here. So, we have a basic plan here in place, but we don't know what the intersection looks like here. We've just drawn in the hips on plan, and the ridge points, the ridge lines, but we do not know what the intersection here looks like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically move that information up onto the elevation and I'm also going to project an end view here on, onto the right hand side. So I start off with the ridge points. So for the larger roof, I have a ridge point here and here. For the smaller point, a smaller roof, sorry, smaller roof, I've got a ridge point here and here. Okay. Now, I can start off here with regards to this corner of the wall plate. If I bring that up here, I know it's going to be pitched on the, by way of the, the um, common rafter is pitched at 45 degrees here. If I come up to this wall plate line here, Right, this corner of the wall plate, I'm going to pitch that at 45 degrees. Now, likewise, this corner here for the smaller roof is at 45 degrees, and this corner here for the. Now, what I have here are two uh, roofs, but, but basically, what I'm going to do now is I have to put in the ridge points. I don't have the ridge points, uh, the ridge line heights here. Okay, so that's why I'm going to draw the end view here. Okay, on this side here. So in order for me to draw the end view, I'm going to use this line here, this line here, to bring up my points here at 45 degrees. So I'm going to bring all my points, my wall plate points and my ridge points, right to this line. Okay, so this is this roof, 
bridge point here. Now, I'm going to bring these up at 45 degrees. I'm just going to do the first roof, the, the, the larger roof first, so I will bring that up, right, so I have I have the two wall plate lines here, the width here and here, and I have the ridge line point here brought across here, brought that up as well. So if I bring this point here up at 45 degrees, because the pitches are 45 degrees, 45 degrees, the ridge point that I've brought up should also correlate with that, and it does. So that's the ridge point, and that's the ridge point here. So that's the larger roof. Okay, so the smaller roof then, if I bring over the last point here the, on the wall plate for the smaller roof, bring that point over, and bring over the other width here, and again, if I correlate, this is the ridge, the, the ridge point here. I brought it over this line here. Should match up when I bring them both up at 45 degrees. So this point here, bring this across. 45 degree pitch here. This wall plate line here. 45 degree line here. And the ridge point, which is here, established from the from the plan here, brought across here, brought it up. If I bring that up, it correlates with the ridge point here at the top, which is grand. Now, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to bring those two points, those two ridge points, over to the elevation. Now, I have the height for my main roof and the height for the smaller roof, okay? Now, I also have on this side view an intersection between these two roofs, which will give me my intersection point for the plan. But before I proceed to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in uh, just the points that I know now are uh, verified by way of the elevation and the plan. Now if I'm looking in at the roof here I'm seeing this main roof here first because the end view is over this side here. Okay so I'm seeing this main roof first and this other roof at the back. So this is going to run all the way across here. And this is going to run up here. Now, I'm going to put in what I cannot see as a broken line. So I'm going to see this part here of the smaller roof, but this part here is a broken line. to draw in grey what uh, obviously is on the plan here but I, I won't put in uh, hard until I have established the intersection points now part of this uh, is fairly okay by way of drawing it in fully so I know I could put that in black ink here I'll just leave it in grey for the moment Now this grey pen is representing just simply construction lines for me. Okay, so um, as you can see here, I'm just going to draw in what would be the two roofs separately. I'm not showing the intersection points at the moment. So I'm putting in the full hips and wall plates as if they are both separate roofs, just as construction lines.
brings the elevation here. And looking in on the elevation, I'm seeing this roof first. So this is going to be hard. So I'm just going to draw it in the grey first before I put it in as black. I've established my, my heights from the end view, brought them over. Okay, that's the height of the bigger section of the building. I read the bigger roof. Big broken line there. Now, I still have not put in the intersection points. These are just representing kind of construction lines at the moment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just indicate in red here just how these are being brought across. Okay, so I brought across the ridge line here. I'm bringing them onto this, this line here. Okay, so I'm bringing this point across. Uh, ridge point here. Now, and then I brought those up at 45 degrees. That's the ridge point there. across here but we we'd started first of all by bringing the wall plate points up to the elevation so we brought those points up one two and then this one here smaller roof three and Okay, we'd also brought up this point here by way of the when we put in the 45 degrees on plan or the hip and that gave us a ridge point here and the ridge point here. And uh, ridge point here. And the ridge point here. And we also then brought across our height. So the smaller one here, we brought it across. And then the higher. Right, the roof structure here brought that across. So that gave us the elevation and the plan. Now I can proceed to draw the the um, the elevation as a hard line construction. So hip here. Now 
I will see this part here. Ridge. Ridge. This is going to be a hard line here because that's what you're seeing. You're seeing this roof. and this rafter here on elevation. So that's the elevation and the end view drawn in as a hard line. Now, so what we're looking at here is how this translates into the intersection of these two roofs. Well, we have an intersection point here. That's an intersection point here on the end view. Now, we could also, we, what, we, what we could simply do is just bring that point down, back down at 45 degrees. So I'm going to use uh, green here as a colour to differentiate to the uh, other lines I've drawn. This point here. That's the intersection point between the two roofs, okay? And I'm simply going to bring that down now to the plan. Okay, so I have that point there now. With a pencil, I'm just going to bring that point, that intersection point now across. So I know that the two roofs come in onto one another along this line here. So what does that look like? Okay, so when we're drawing this in, we have to look at, well, what's going to be um, exposed? So we, we know when we're looking at the roof, we're seeing this part of the roof and the smaller one and this part here. We're seeing this part of the large roof and this part here. So they intersect, they come along, along this intersection line here. So we know this is going to be seen here and this is going to be seen here. This is going to be seen here. Okay. Now, it's also going to all, this one is going to go all the way to the wall plate corner here, right? Because it's not interfering with this part here. So the intersection is along this line here. So how, what does this look like here? So I know uh, that this point here is coming back up here. So if I bring this point back here, this is where it intersects with the hip here now on the main roof, right? And it goes then from this point here back to this point here in the wall plate where the two roofs meet on on the wall plate. So if I bring that, it should be at 45 degrees there, that point there, here. So we've got a point here, going from here to the intersection point here, back again, okay, and then that comes up. Okay, so again, to draw this in as a, a full line, Okay, so start off with the main, the main hips here. It's a hard line there, hard line here. The ridge line is a hard line. This hip this is hard line. Okay, so what are we gonna see now with regards to how this how this works? Okay. So we know this is the the, the 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 line coming in for the intersection. So we drew from this point here to the intersection line. Now we'll bring that intersection line just using green here make it a little bit more clear, clear as to what we're doing here. This is the intersection line I'm bringing across here. Okay, so this is where the, on, plan, on, on the end view here, this is the intersection of the two roofs here, brought it down to the ground line, brought it back at 45 degrees, and we're bringing it back then to, uh, across this line here with regards to the plan. Now, basically I know then, when I, when I fill this in, Hard, 
okay this hip is going to be viewed here okay so it's going to travel up to here now it's going to only go back to that line here the intersection line so here back to here okay now I've got the ridge point here for the smaller roof that's going to be seen and this hip here is going to be seen and this hip here is going to be seen so the intersection point then we brought that that point here this corner hip right this this hip called traveling back that's the intersection point here so this one comes up to the hip here that's going to be a valley where the two roofs intersect this here is going to be the hip coming down from the main roof roof into the smaller roof okay and this here then is going to be a gully of intersection, horizontal intersection. So this point here, this point here, which we brought down onto plan here, is this line here. Okay, but then that travels back again to this point here, from this point here, which would be a 45 degree angle. Okay. From there back to the wall plate. So we have the two roofs intersecting one another, showing the intersection on plan. Okay, we have the elevation drawn in and we have the end view drawing in. And the important point here is this point of intersection, which I've brought down to the ground line brought back at 45 degrees and brought across on plan to where the respective points need to be established with regards to the hips. Okay, just an addition. Um, in order to establish this point, which I've brought down from the end view here, the intersection point of the two roofs, down 45 degrees and into the plan, from the end view onto the plan, I could also trace that line uh, across to the elevation. So to trace that line across to the elevation, I simply bring this point here across to where it hits the hip here. This is your hip line here. I bring that across. Okay. And I bring that point down. You will see that it correlates The same point there. So I can establish this point here of intersection, right, in two ways. I can either bring it down as I had done with regards to the uh, the ground line of the end view, bringing it back at 45 degrees and back across, okay, to where it hits the hip on plan, or I can simply bring that across to the hip here on elevation and then bring it down. It establishes the same point. So it's just the point of intersection, which is essential in order to establish where the intersection occurs. Okay, thank you.